Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it is that time again. We have a level up on right now. We've got about an hour left in this level up. I waited to see whether I could double dip during this level up, but no advancement showed up. They probably will after the level up is over. Uh, but anyway, we're going to rank someone up here, and this rank up is long overdue. So if you think you can guess who I am taking up next, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below with your guess. Uh, it could be a five star. It can be a six star. Uh, I only do these videos for ranking a six star up or ranking a five star up. Okay. So without further ado, we are going to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Human Torch. And I never thought that I would be saying that I would be ranking up Human Torch. All right, so while I rank up this Human Torch, I'm going to give you a few blasts from the past so you can see how I felt about Human Torch initially. A long time has passed since then. So I had this great idea. During this rank up, I was going to show you guys clips from an old video where I was giving my first impressions of Human Torch. And I remember very clearly that I was not impressed. I had checked him out. And in the fights that I took him against, he just did not look impressive at all. And most of my fellow content creators concurred. They agreed with me. They, they said, no, no, Human Torch does not look good. So I wanted to show some clips from that video, but I cannot find it. I don't know where it went. I don't know if it got deleted. I don't usually delete my videos, but perhaps it got deleted. Uh, but in any case, since that time, there has been a lot more content that showcases just how powerful Human Torch is. Uh, the Abyss, for example, did not exist when I first evaluated him. There was one YouTuber that sung his praises all throughout, however, and that was Legacy. Shout out to Legacy. He saw the potential even when there wasn't that much content that really showed what Human Torch could do. All right, so back to it and see you later. All right. So that's the rank up portion of the video. Uh, he is now rank five. I waited for this guy. He was the last member of the so-called uh, Four Horsemen uh, before I went into the Abyss. I wanted to have the ideal team for at least the easy path. It's not that you can't do it with anyone, um, but you had a certain set of folks that made it much easier. The four horsemen were Human Torch, Aegon, Doom, and Nick Fury. And I didn't have any of them. Well, now I have all of them. And he doesn't need to be awakened, but his awakened ability can come in useful, especially in the Abyss. All right, so we're going to do a little gameplay on Human Torch. Not against Winter Soldier, because honestly, to showcase what Human Torch can do, we need to fight someone that is a mystic or does energy-based attack. So you can really see what Human Torch can do. All right? So uh, sit back, relax, and let's get on to the gameplay. All right, we're in Realm of Legends. I brought Ghost along to take the first two fights because I don't think uh, those first two fights are really that fun with Human Torch. But Juggernaut is a mystic champion. And Mystic Champions, all of their attacks count as energy, which raises Human Torch's temperature. And when he gets to 20, that's when the fun starts, okay? Now, I've not done this fight before with Human Torch, and I don't really use Human Torch. 
only recently got Human Torch. And if you uh, remember what I said earlier, uh, I didn't really think much of him when he came out. And most of the content creators did not really think he was good at all. All right. So uh, didn't really invest a whole lot of time into him. So let's get in here. I don't know how this fight is going to go. Uh, again, I don't know the best rotation, how to fight him, uh, fight with him, but I do know that I want to activate his pre-fight ability here, Flame On. And you can see the team that I chose to go in here with. Uh, Thing uh, has a synergy, of course, all the Fantastic Four do, but Thing has a synergy uh, that helps him ramp up uh, faster when he does a heavy uh, to get to that 20, because that's where you want to be. You want to be at max temperature. Uh, and I forget what the uh, synergy with uh, Iceman does. Um, I know there was a reason I brought him, though. But I kind of created this team before, uh, and I'm tired now. Uh, anyway, uh, let's, let's dive into it, and let's see what he can do. Fortunately, this Juggernaut is the old Juggernaut, so you can actually um, parry him while he's unstoppable. All right, so there we go. I'm already at max temperature. And we are just cooking him. Now, I am running suicides. And that bleed does hurt a little bit in the beginning to Human Torch. I believe it makes it difficult, more difficult to uh, get his uh, temperature up. All right, here we go. All right, get that special two out. Okay, get that temperature back up. And while he has this temperature up, he's putting on those uh, smolders like crazy. That's a lot of damage right there. See, we block all that and we're back up and we're getting smolders on him even though we're not even hitting him. That is nice. All right, back up to uh, 20. Very easy to do when you're fighting a Mystic Champion. Come on, there we go. Before I do that last one, he's gone. I was like, you know, I was going to finish the fight with a, a, a special, but he's done. All right. That went pretty well. Let's let's try him against a non-Mystic uh, champion uh, just to kind of get a feel for uh, what he's like there. Um, but he has a lot of uh, interesting mechanics that I need to learn more about. All right, so you can see while uh, I have that bleed on me, I'm not really getting my temperature up. Remember how easy it was fighting a Mystic Champion, getting it up? Look at this. All right, now that the bleed is gone, let's see if we can't try and get that up a little bit now. Come on. All right, trying to get the parries in there. All right, there we go. We're up to uh, 20. Let's fire off a special three. We didn't get a special three off uh, in the last fight. Boom. Very nice, very nice animations. Okay. Whew. Almost tried to uh, intercept him. Okay, got it back up again. Okay, up once more. That special two off there. Get that back up, there we go. Now, something else to note, the pre-fight is gone. So, unless he's awakened, 
We have no way of getting that back during this quest. So while he doesn't need to be awakened, it's definitely a, a nice to have, and I will awaken him eventually. Uh, if I get a science awakening gem, I'll give it to him. Um, because I don't really have any other science champions right now that I would give it to. I'm trying to think, yeah. So yeah, I would give it to him. Uh, he's not getting one of my generics though. I'm hoarding those like a miser. Okay, come on. <laughs> Sometimes the AI boy. All right, here we go. There we go. Let's do another special three. Perfect damage, 20%. Go! Boom! Okay, I let him hit into my block just so he could do that. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for the video. Uh, it's not the best showcase of Human Torch. Uh, he has heal reversals. Um, he's obviously a mystic killer. Uh, so the best place to use him would be against mystics for the most part. But he has some other uses, other matchups that he's good for as well. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about my rank up and this video. And you all have a blessed day.